Good morning, my name is Bernd Körner. I'm heading the Joint Coordination Platform located at the Austrian Minister of the Interior and I'm back here in Vienna. I would like to talk today about the migration uh, policy developments and first of all I would like to ask you what are the main needs and challenges currently faced by your institution? Well, as we are a rather new institution, uh, we started working beginning of January last year. I think uh, my answer needs to go into two different directions. The first one is we have to, of course, uh, uh, build up uh, the institution in a very solid and sustainable way. We did a lot of recruitments. We had to relocate uh, uh, the institution because we ran out of space at our previous premises. But that's the internal part. The external part was to get in touch uh, with our uh, main partners, uh, being it on the side of the requesters or on the side of the donors, uh, keeping good contacts, keeping intensive contacts and all of this in the midst of the pandemic. I think we have done quite well, but this is still a, a remaining challenge uh, for also 22 and 23. Could you please uh, let me know what have been the recent uh, achievements by the Joint Co Coordination Platform? Um, as you mentioned, there are some organizational uh, issues, but you have already gotten in touch with your partners. Um, maybe there is something to highlight in this direction. I think we, we can in fact highlight again uh, three different uh, elements. Uh, because according to the mandate given to us, first of all, we need to focus on four areas uh, in total. Uh, the four areas being support in asylum uh, management, uh, support in border management, uh, support in returns and readmission, and support in tackling uh, of human smuggling and uh, trafficking in human beings. Um, having this rather uh, uh, tough and, and very sometimes very uh, um, uh, delicate mandate. Uh, uh, we had to orient uh, our activities vis-a-vis -vis our partners in, in a very detailed way. Uh, we uh, were able to assess the needs of our partners, uh, being uh, at the Eastern Mediterranean route and Western Balkans route. Uh, we were able to uh, actively contribute through certain activities already in filling up some gaps, in uh, uh, providing some assistance, in providing some support to them. Uh, we were uh, increasingly getting engaged in the matching of the needs from our partners with potential offers from our donors. And we were also uh, able to always keep a good situational picture about new developments so that we could also support our partners in quickly reacting to whatever was needed along the route. This sounds great. Sounds like a great plan. But how would you assess all these four pillars? Are they, are they the same on the equal, um, equal footing, so to say? Um, this changes. As we all know, in, in the migration field, nothing can be considered stable or definite. This changes according to external factors, according to recent developments. Just if we look back into the developments in 22, uh, we had our biggest event this year, our ministerial return conference. When we scheduled the return conference for the end of February, we were still under the impression of uh, the pandemic? Could we hold it as a physical meeting, as a hybrid meeting? Maybe not at all. By the time when we held the meeting on 21st and 22nd of February, we were already under the severe impression of completely new developments at that time. We know what happened a few days afterwards and uh, what sorrowful events took place since then. Uh, we at the same time then had the experience that many of the countries exposed to these sorrowful events all of a sudden in a, in a great deal of humanitarian assistance and support managed to stand together to help to assist each other to provide uh, safe havens uh, for many uh, people uh, fleeing from war-torn areas. 
So this is changing. Um, we try to have a good picture on what is needed so that we can quickly adapt, but all the time being ready to provide whatever is needed out of this portfolio um, by these four elements. I see. Indeed, everything is changing nowadays and it's difficult to predict for, for the very long term. But you mentioned your work with the partners and that you're getting in touch and uh, working intensively. And how would you assess the intergovernmental cooperation uh, within uh, the um, JCP? I, I think intergovernmental cooperation is a core element in working with each other. Um, we have uh, devoted ourselves to the concept of European integrated border management as also stipulated in the European Border and Coast Guard regulation. Uh, there are several different fields listed in the regulation. And in order to be successful in implementing this, you need to stand together, you need to work together, you need to cooperate, to exchange and to trust each other in the activities that you do. We, I can, I can quite happily report, we have managed successfully not only to have good and regular contacts with the European Commission and the EU agencies, but we have also managed to establish good and reliable uh, relations to many of the international organizations. And we have uh, managed also to reach out to many of the different institutions, processes, uh, countries, uh, because this is the only way how you connect. And Prague process being one of them, I imagine. This was something that I wanted to underline particularly. Um, I'm happy for the invitation that we could present ourselves here at the Prague process meeting. It is an exchange of best practices, an exchange of, of challenges, an exchange of experiences. And I think we can also mutually agree to a great extent also by exchanging this in, within the Prague process meeting. Indeed.